Good morning, everybody. I'd like to say congratulations. You've been nominated as the 2018 Farm Family of the Year for the Queen Anne's County Fair. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You all were nominated by the local Agricultural Advisory Board and chose you for this um, honor and distinction because of your dedication to agriculture and everything that you've contributed over the years to Queen Anne's County Agriculture and, and Ag in general. Um, Buddy, I've known you for a long time. It's been a while. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. <laughs> you at one point in time, um, way back, it's been actually 30 years of this year that I started working in Queen Anne's County and you were serving on the Farm Service Agency yeah. uh, County Committee and you welcomed me in and I just want to say thank you. You've been a um, long time friend and I think it's wonderful that you're being recognized, you and your family. So congratulations again. Thank you. And uh, Betty, you yes. have also been a wonderful friend to the ag community as well and Queen Anne's County and you also have a long ag background. So let's go back a few years before we get it into the current um, farming operation that you have with your family. Buddy, uh, let's go back to your dad, your grandfather. How far back does your family lineage go <laughs> with agriculture? From what I understand, forever. forever. So you okay. So your dad farmed yes. here in in Queen Anne's County. He started farming in 1948. Okay. At the little farm where Scott and Chris and the kids live. Okay. Now him and I together still since since and we bought it in 19. What was it? Ninety-nine. 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 Okay. Scott and Chris had a home over there. Now, did your grandfather farm also? Your father's? Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah. where were they? Were they in Queen Anne's Talbot County also? County. Talbot County. Yeah, on 404. Okay. So when did your grandfather, do you know roughly when he migrated up to Queen Anne's or was that your father that actually started in Queen Anne's? Daddy. Okay. All right. Yeah, because he farmed right on 404 in Talbot, on Talbot County side. Well, he was just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Queen Anne's uh -huh. then. <laughs> Betty, did your family have any dealings with agriculture? Um, yes, my father. We farmed. Okay. Yeah, we were at we in Caroline County. Okay. Outside of Ridgely. Yes. Near the Tuckahoe State Park. And what was your so, maiden name? What was the family that? My maiden name was Downs. Okay. Yeah. So you were the Downs family outside of Ridgely, and. Um, right. We had a small farm. Mm -hmm. and we farmed. Yeah. Okay. So tell me how you all met. So we've got a Talbot oh, no, County I'm farmer and a that. Caroline County. <laughs> uh oh, there must be a really interesting story there. Can you give us a little bit of a hint how you all? You don't have to go in too much depth. I was visiting my cousin, which was a friend of his, Sunny Towers at the time. And I was visiting his sister, and that's where we met. Okay. All Aren't right. You're going to tell what you're doing. Uh oh. Look. I was picking chickens. Oh well, that's good. We really do have the agriculture, and and I guess, buddy, you were impressed with the fact that she could pick a chicken. I know every once in a while what she was what she was wearing the first time I ever saw her. Really, you can remember that? Yeah, I I can tell you what I wore yesterday. She had a white tank top on and a pair of cut off blue jeans. Well, she must have made quite the impression. Hair was in curlers, I think. No way. Oh, oh, that's I so. That down all the time. Yeah. So, how long ago was that? Do you remember? Do you remember how old you were? I was going to say 1960. Um, well, we've been there 48 years. Yeah. It was in the 60s. See, I graduated in 67. He graduated in 68. So, somewhere around 1969. Yeah. Oh, okay. 1969. So, you guys have been together for a long yeah. time, long forever. Time. Long time. <laughs> And that's that's such a credit these days. I mean, you know, to be together that long and just had an anniversary July eleventh. That's forty eight years. Forty eight years. That's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. That's great. Thank you. That's Thank great. You. So when you started farming, buddy, um, with your dad, um, roughly how many acres did you till at the time? And was it just grain, or did you have other? Um, I started farming in nineteen sixty six. Okay. Had all these big plans. I was gonna buy new equipment. I was gonna buy a new truck or a new car, or whatever, so on and so forth. We grew 23 bushel corn eggs and six bushel beans. 
Oh, there goes your new equipment and your new car. <laughs> so it's up over the major next year to pay that year's debts off. Yeah. And then the third year I broke even. I just started wondering, what in the world am I doing? <laughs> so your first year of farming with your dad wasn't really that great of an experience as far as financially. I, farm with dad. I, I, I worked for him. You know, oh, okay. Worked with him, but as far as farming with him, I never farmed with him. Farm. Okay. He quit farming. I, I had 100, 175 acres until the last two years of his high school. Right. Everybody else was hook school, take off roads to sit out, have to hook school, go as a farm plow. Or, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or okay. But you probably still would do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Absolutely. funny. That's funny. So, Dutch, when did you. Um, when did you move? Did you move to the farm where Scotty and Christy live now? Is it, was that your original first place when you got married? No. When we first got married, we lived in Ridgely. Oh, we okay. We house in Ridgely, and then he traveled back and forth. And then we um, moved over to, was it uh, Town, Town, Town Farm now? It's called Tan Yard. Okay. Yeah. Yes. We lived there, and then we bought the little place here on Carver Lane. Okay. And then we bought this farm and built a house on it. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. Okay, so... Um, Let's go speed up a little bit and we'll go into um, what you've got going on now. So when were you blessed with this nice young man, Scott? What year was Scott born? The bigger little Scott. Uh, the big Scott. <laughs> 75. 75. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> I'm so serious going to talk 1975. They didn't ask me. <laughs> And when you were, when Scotty was born, you were living on the other farm at, at Carver Lane, correct? Yeah, when he was born, we were over to Tanner Farm, okay. the big old farmhouse. Over okay. There. That's where I remember taking him there. Yeah. As I walked up the sidewalk. With Isn't him. that funny? <laughs> so, Scotty, going back a few years for you also, what was some of your early rec rec recollections of living on the farm? Oh, jeez. Riding on the tractor with your dad? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a given. I mean, I, you know, I thought you meant what it was I doing, but yeah, really pretty much going to sleep on the tractor, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's about as far back as I can remember. Right. Yeah. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy. Now, did you always feel like, you know, that ag was your calling when you were younger? I mean, did you want to stay on the farm or did you? When you're young, you really don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, right out of high school, I realized it was better to get a real job. Or, you know. <laughs> Okay, so ag's not a real job. Yeah. <laughs> I'd better be self-employed. So I'd rather be self-employed. Yes. So. <laughs> so when you graduated from high school, you thought, you know, I'm not going to go to college. That's not my pathway yeah. that I need to take. And so farming with dad was your first choice. And yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Say, yeah. Mm -hmm. College is really interesting. Yeah. Uh, just I had enough of school. Right. I, I did good, but I just didn't want to go back. Right. So. So roughly when you graduated from high school, mm -hmm. how much were you tilling at the time? I know you had a couple of farms that you rented and, you know, you owned yeah. roughly. Mm, close to 2000 probably. Okay. Back then, yeah. Okay. Maybe. All right. Something like that. And was it strictly grain farming that you were doing when you were graduated from high school? You didn't kind of diversify into anything else? That was it. Okay. No chickens then. No chickens then. Different day. You could actually make it off of farming with just growing green oh, yeah. years ago. You didn't have to kind of diversify into two different yeah. or three different avenues. Yeah, it's, it's very good. We had a lot of good years. Mm -hmm. A lot of good years. Yes. Talking about that, um, what's, what's some of your favorite memories over the years of, you know, you started on the Tanyard Farm, then you moved to Carver Lane, then now you're here and you've got... Christy and Scott living on one of the other farms that you bought. What's, what's some of the, the special memories for you over the years with farming and bringing your son up on the farm and now you have three grandchildren and um... <laughs> We just work. You ever see it was work. We work. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then, uh, Everybody worked together. Worked together all the time. We always stuck together and worked together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So working together as a family was probably your yeah, something that you're very that's proud what, of. That's what oh, yeah. That's what yeah. yeah. And Betty, um, you've actually worked off of the farm. Yes. For years. Yes. What yeah. What did you do for years yeah. off the farm? Uh, I'm an RN. 
so I, I nursed for, let's see, I graduated uh, 67, 68, 70, I graduated from nurses training, mm -hmm. and I worked until John Scott was born, and then I watched him, and he's now 13, so I've been quit work for 13 years, so. And then became a full-time mom. Yeah, and then Emma came along <laughs> two years later, and then she came along two years later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll talk about the grandchildren. Yeah. Scott, Scotty, tell us about um, this lovely lady sitting next to you. When did you meet Christy, and how did you meet Christy? I'm proud of that. Yeah, let her. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, I don't Christy. Let, let's let's talk to you about how you and Scotty met. Okay, well, I grew up on a farm all my life. Our family has a farm across the bridge in Anaheim County, and. Um, we have a vegetable farm. So even growing up, I always knew that that's what I wanted to do is have some kind of field in agriculture. And even when I went away to college, I studied communications and I wanted to work at the Department of Agriculture. Right. And I had a lobbyist job lined up, but my love for the farm was just wanting to stay there. <laughs> and then, uh, so uh, one summer I was picking corn after I graduated college, I was picking corn down here with all the Guatemalan guys. and. My uncle down to our farm here in Centerville. Yes. And Scotty and his dad were actually tilling some of the ground at the same time. And I guess my father in law came over to check to see things, how things were going. And I was talking to my uncle, and I was like, heard, I ever heard them talking, like, let me fix my son up. And I was like, oh, <laughs> not some Eastern Shore, like, I just said, redneck, you know, how we think from across the bridge. But, and then I met him, and it just, it just happened, you know, three years later, we, we dated for like three years and mm -hmm. we got married, but we had so many liked interests and everything, so. Right. That's pretty cool that your father-in-law fixed you up. That's, oh, yeah, that's no. the end. I you were definitely in if your father-in-law <laughs> fixing you up. Give him credit for that, I guess. Yeah. Now, you also um, were involved still with the, your family's farm as far as um, working with flowers. Can you talk a little bit, touch a little bit about that? Weren't you still working with the greenhouses with your... Yeah, with my family, like growing up, that was always my favorite um, time of year, like mm -hmm. the greenhouse time. Uh, we grew like the vegetable plants, we even raised tobacco and different things like that. But the greenhouse was always my favorite. Just like planting a seed, planting a little plug and watching it grow into like something like wonderful, like a fruit or you right. know, vegetable or something that you could eat, yeah. as well as like the flowers. Yeah. Um, I also worked at Pintail Point um, Farm and I was like a head greenhouse grower for them. Great. And there I really learned how to grow the plants, like um, not just what how the plants grow, but um, more so like chemicals and growth regulators and fertilizers. So then I decided um, to leave there and start my own thing. So now right. we have our own greenhouse here on the farm. Fantastic. Another um, diversified farming operation. Mm -hmm. And Scotty, um, you had mentioned chickens. Yeah. How many chickens do you have? How many houses do you have? Four houses. We hold about 120,000. Right. A flock. 120,000 a flock. And how many flocks do you average a year? Mm, sometimes we get five. It's usually four and a half. Right. Something like that. Right. And converting over to poultry, was that a tough conversion going from basically grain farming over to being a grain and poultry farmer? No, no. I mean, I always got up early and that kind of stuff. That, that really didn't bother me. And, mm -hmm. and after you get two flocks going, it's not bad. Yeah. So you got first, first two are scary. Yeah. So you had plenty of chickens for your mom to pick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Done no more. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I don't do that either. <laughs> so let's let's transition over into the next generation on the farm, which would be basically your fifth generation in the Dolan family, and we've got this young lady here in this beautiful peach-colored shirt. What is your name, young lady? My name is Gretchen Dolan. And they call you Belle. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And what is one of your favorite things that you do that you were just talking about a little earlier? Lacrosse. Lacrosse. Yes, and from what I understand, you're very good at it, and you have fun. And what is one other thing that you like to do? Your grandmother told me that you like to do something at home. Uh, slime. Slime. Making <laughs> slime. That's pretty cool. And who's this gentleman right next to you? My brother, John Scott Dolan. John Scott. John Scott, how old are you? I'm 13 years old. 13. And tell me what you like to do. There's, a, there's something that you're starting to do right now that's 
kind of interesting to you. What have you just started? I've started to learn guitar. That's great. I really think it's fun. It really interests me. Good. That's fantastic. And this will be your last year in middle school. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about that? Well, I kind of like middle school. Mm -hmm. And I liked it. First year was terrible, but <laughs> seventh grade was really good. So I was expecting this year to go really well. Good. Great. And who's this young lady next to you? That is my sister, Emma. Emma, how old are you? Eleven. And you also have a favorite thing that you do. Lacrosse. What? Lacrosse. Another lacrosse player. What position do you play in lacrosse? I'm the goalie. And how well did you do in your last couple of tournaments that you've been in? Pretty good. Pretty good? And you showed me that nice big bang on your... Uh, knee right there where a lacrosse ball hit you because you're pretty tough in, in goalie from what I understand. Yeah? Yeah, so yeah. what do you guys like best about living on the farm? What's your favorite things on the farm? Well, like when I have friends over, I like to go into the woods and I like to go camping with them. Great. And it's just something fun that I like to do. Right. Bo, well, what do you think? I just like when we're living on the farm, we have Open fields. Mm hmm And in the woods we have like a big dirt pile and a big hole. And I like playing in the greenhouse. Yeah. And I like running around with my dog in the dirt pile and around the field. That's great. How about you, Emma? What's your favorite thing about the farm? Yeah, uh I like to go in the well on our farm in the pond with our um with our dog, play with her. And well, the greenhouse. I help my mom work in there. Great, that's awesome. So you guys are participating on the farm too. So it's wonderful that you all can have this big family unit. And um, I heard you all talking earlier about how you like to come over and pick blackberries from yeah. mama and eat them and make blackberry mush. Yeah. <laughs> that's a new one on me. I've never heard that before. <laughs> They're good free labor. Like yes, we take that's, them to the farmer's market when we sell flowers. That's great. Yeah, that's we great. We make them work after school, before school sometimes if we have a delivery. Yeah. But, and the I chickens, could, the chickens, they like yeah. that chicken duty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chickens are pretty stinky though. <laughs> so Betty and Buddy, what, have you, what do you think over the last um, many, many years that you farmed, um, what's been some of your biggest challenges over the years? The weather. <laughs> yeah. Open heat in the plane. Right. Right. But you all have installed some irrigation on the farm, so you're fortunate enough to be able to have rain right. when most of the time when you need it. We've got it here and in Scott's house we have irrigation. Right. So we do have two hundred and fifty acres underwater. Underwater. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So tell me something, buddy, about yourself that would be something unusual that people wouldn't know about you. What would be something that you could say about yourself that would really surprise somebody and they'd be like, I never knew that about Buddy Dolan. Can you think of anything? Or Betty? Is there anything you could think of? No, uh -oh, Scotty's, got, Scotty's got a grin on his no, face. I'm thinking about me. I don't think everybody knows him pretty well. He's been around long enough that I think everybody knows him pretty well. Can you think of anything unusual about him? Do you? Do you think it's not unusual? Nothing. You're just very transparent. Everybody knows you're just. Pretty much. Say like it is, and people know him. That pop pop. Anything, anything special you think about pop pop? That you can think of, Bo? He likes out. He likes to do what? Come on, Emma, tell the truth. <laughs> He likes to play checkers. Okay, you like to play checkers. Yeah, we, we go at it every time they come over. Oh, okay. So he's the champion checker player. Does he beat you all the time? Yes. No. <laughs> Most of the time. I've beaten him before. I've beaten him before, too. Most of the time. All right, so is there anything else that you would like to say or you want anybody to know about your farming operation other than you do a great job, your farms are beautiful. I mean, every time I come up here, they're just, they just look fantastic. You spend a lot of time and a lot of effort on your crops, your houses, I mean, and you do a great job. You're fantastic stewards of the land. Is there anything that we would like to end on that you would like anybody to know? I'd like to thank the people that nominated and invited us in.
Yeah. Well, congratulations again for Thank being you. the 2018 Farm Family, and we'll see you at the fair. Okay. Thanks, Thanks to all of you that support us, because one of my simple pleasures is riding through town and seeing one of my hanging baskets or right in front of the courthouse. I always see like our flowers out there and different things. So yep. I feel like that's like a simple pleasure of mine. Yes. And I, I know they came from us and they're still alive. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's great. Why. That's great. Congratulations. Thank she grew you. Flowers. <laughs>